What up free bosses? In this video, I'm gonna give you a couple of freelancing tips, things that you can do to stay productive, make the most amount of money, upsell your clients, and really just make sure that you're on your game. Tip number one is, first of all, you gotta keep learning. Always be learning, always be educating yourself, getting better at your craft. If your craft is running Facebook ads, always stay up to date on what Facebook is doing with their ads because they're changing on like a daily basis. So always be educating yourself, listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, taking little courses, testing around, practice for free. Like look at this stuff as like an actual sport where you're just gonna go out there and you're just gonna play baseball for an hour just because. Because you know, if you're trying to be paid to play baseball you don't wait to practice baseball until the paycheck is coming in right you actually have to like work and practice for free so that's tip number dose is to practice for free so whether it's your own brand maybe you make up a brand and you just start practicing your skill you know making up your brand is awesome and all because you're building your brand and all that kind of stuff but if you're actually working for free for a client then you have the ability to impress that client and then that client actually pays you. So you kind of have like an upside potential of doing a great job for them and then being able to actually land them as a client. So always be educating yourself, always be practicing, even if you're not getting paid for it. I have a friend of mine that I'm kind of coaching one-on-one -on -one and teaching them how to make this transition from their serving job into being a full-time remote worker. And the hardest thing for me to get them to do is to practice, is to literally just continue writing copy, continue writing blogs, um, doing what they, you know, literally doing right now what they wanna get paid to do. And so that seems to be a challenge for some people. So don't let that be a challenge for you. So practice, all right? Another tip is be responsible with your time and look at your time as a very high value thing because if you wanna one day make $100 an hour, you need to start cherishing your time now like you're making $100 an hour now. So start valuing your time now. And if you're making 100 bucks an hour, you're not going to just kind of willy-nilly spend your time on random BS that isn't being productive, right? Like if, if you're getting paid $100 an hour, you're gonna constantly be trying to get booked to, to provide that service for $100 an hour. You're gonna be on your game, right? So look at that as a goal as far as like, figure out what rate you wanna be making per hour and then look at it like, okay, well what kind of quality of results do I need to deliver in order to make that rate? So for me, I definitely demand a high rate. I I make a very nice salary, six-figure salary, and the way that I got there is through practice, through learning many different skill sets. So I got my hourly rate up, and then I don't provide just one service for that hourly rate, I provide multiple services, so I learned multiple things. But first, I mastered one thing at a time. Don't just go out and try and master 10 things at once. It's gonna take forever, and you wanna first master one thing at a time because when you master one thing, then you can start to actually get paid a decent salary for that one skill set, right? And then as you're providing that skill set for clients and you're getting paid for that, your side hustle can be learning another skill set that's very related to that. So for me, I mastered running Facebook ads, got really good at running Facebook ads, started bringing on clients that would hire me to run Facebook ads for them. Then on the side, I was learning ClickFunnels. So I started to learn how to build out ClickFunnels pages and, and do some like extra stuff to ClickFunnels where you put in like promo codes and order bump images and just some kind of extracurricular stuff that ClickFunnels doesn't offer right at the box. So I started to get really good at ClickFunnels. Then what I did was um, all my clients that were hiring me for Facebook stuff, I just hit them up and I said, hey, do you need help with some ClickFunnels stuff? Do you wanna build some sales funnels? And a lot of them actually said yes. So then I'm making money from ClickFunnels and Facebook. And then I ask, hey, um, you know, what, what's up with your email marketing? We're running all these Facebook ads and we're getting opt-ins. Are they being followed up with? Do you have some cool email automations that are going on? Um, so I start to learn email marketing, learn the different email marketing softwares out there like MailChimp, ConvertKit, Aweber, Clavio, all this kind of stuff. All these different softwares I've literally learned from just being paid by clients to learn that kind of stuff because first I, I get the business of managing their emails and then let's say that their email provider is Clavio. Then I jump into Clavio and I say, yeah, I can build it out. I just tell them yes and then I learn on the back end. So I figured it out on their dime but I didn't also, I didn't. it didn't take me like 
30 hours to figure one little thing out. I, you know, I learned quickly, watch a couple YouTube videos, and then I'm now I'm able to deliver work in a different software. So learn everything. I mean, all of this really is stemming back to education and learning, and then there's practicing, right? So learning is not just reading a book and now you learn it. The other side of learning is to actually implement it and practice it and actually do it. I could read a book on how to play tennis, but uh, chances are when I get it on the court to play tennis, I'm gonna suck. Even though I'm super book smart about tennis and how to swing it right, it just takes getting out there and doing it. And that's why I say like, don't worry about getting paid to, to do it right away. You just need to do it. You just need to get out there and do it. So. If you're a remote worker right now, if you're a freelancer and you're making a little bit of money on one skill, start educating yourself and expanding your skill set and time manage yourself to the best of your ability. So think about it like every single hour that goes by is $100 out of your pocket. So how are you going to spend your hours assuming that you're going to be making big money here soon, right? You want to kind of manage your time in the best way. So if you spend an hour on Reddit or an hour on YouTube and it's not contributing to your main goal, then you're losing money. Just kind of think of it like that. Like, oh man, an hour just went by and I didn't make uh, my $100. I should probably do some productive stuff that's gonna, you know, contribute to that goal of making 100 bucks an hour. Always be learning, always be practicing, educating yourself, be productive. I know for sure you're always gonna need to have that downtime. I'm a big follower of Gary Vee, and Gary Vee is all about just hustle, 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 work your ass off until you're bleeding because your skin's all melted off because of all the hard work. <laughs> but I, I think there's a balance. So I'm, I'm all about hustle and working hard, but I'm also about that like, taking off, clearing your head. But also remember when you do take off, you need to actually like turn off, push the off buttons. Cause a lot of people when they take off, they are still working or they're still checking company emails or they're, they're checking their Skype or their Slack. And, and it's like, okay, you're not actually doing what you're, what the whole purpose is. The purpose is to turn off so that you can hit that reset button in your head, clear your head and then approach you know, when you go back to work, you'll be clear-minded. But if you're, if you're never really turning off, then that's when you start to really mess yourself up. When you're off, you're off, right? Like if you're working on your cell phone and you're supposed to be off, then push your cell phone away and just kind of walk out to the lake like this. Just stand there and just look at the lake. Just look how beautiful it is, look at it. Anyway, there's a few tips on how to be an amazing remote worker that's gonna be increasing their income on a regular basis, education, practicing, always be getting better, and get linked up with some great platforms that are gonna get you some legit clients. Like when you start to build your portfolio, landing clients is gonna be a lot easier. So as you practice, you're building your portfolio, you're getting better, and then landing clients, it's gonna be a lot easier to pitch that client when you have a bunch of work to back it up. So if you're wanting to learn more information like this, then go to freebosslifestyle.com. Link is in the description. There's a free mini course that I created that you can jump into. You're gonna learn a lot more about becoming a remote worker and internet marketing stuff. So I highly recommend go to freebosslifestyle.com. Link is in the description and join the free mini course. Start investing more time into education. And I guarantee if right now you're a remote worker or a freelancer, then you'll be able to get your income up just by learning a couple extra skills. Thanks for watching. Peace.